this is the uh, this is ways out too coming at you. Usually I write about uh, emergency food. Well, usually I, I send you videos about um, emergency food storage and emergency um, uh, storing of anything like brooms, uh, first aid kits, medicine, uh, storing away uh, uh, cleaning supplies. Uh, Always, you never know when you have to be prepared for a storm or bad times or anything that may arise, any emergency or that may arise. Uh, the reason why it's dark in this room is to show you these uh, two lanterns. These are the Brooklyn, the Brooklyn lantern, the old Brooklyn lantern, to be precise. And I usually, I and they're battery operated. They run on D batteries, and as you can see, let me see if I can, let me see if I can show it to you. If you can see it, it says Brooklyn Lantern right there. See it? Old Brooklyn Lantern, and you put the batteries down here. 2D batteries. It takes 2D batteries, and um, and uh, it's good for emergency. You can um, hold it here and hang it on the hook right here. The hook's right here. I'm going to show you the hook. Oh, I, I, got, I, I brought it down from this hook here, one of them. See the hook? It's kind of far away, but you can hook them up on, on the hook. Uh, if you can, if you can uh, make the hook lower, or if you can uh, uh, if, uh, make it make it enough where you can be accessible to not only hooking them on the hook to keep them there, but to unhook them off easily and just carry them. See, you unhook them and you carry the lanterns. See, when you're walking. <laughs> like the uh, like the old uh, people from the uh, uh, the uh, railroad uh, uh, people you see in the uh, uh, old tracks running, or maybe the uh, train tracks, <laughs> or or a mine, or maybe a miner <laughs> from a mine. That's what it remind me of, or maybe one of those uh, uh, monks that you see depicted in our uh, cards and old movies with the robe <laughs> going like this. That's how it reminds me of. Uh, but uh. But they light nicely. Now, if they flicker like this one does, as you can see, it needs batteries. But it's still good. And all you gotta do is just uh, you have a knob. Just turn the knob off and turn it on. And there you go. It's safe. It doesn't light as bright as some new modern lighting system, or uh, or I mean, you know, light system or a paradise or whatever. You got you got better flashlights and better things, but they're very expensive, and and um, and they may be heavy. They may be heavier. They may be lighter. It depends. What are you going to get? These things do work. They're not as bright as uh, some things that you can get, but they're cheaper. You can find them in a hardware store in Walmart. You can find them in any in any stores you go to. If if you hunt around for them, you'll find them. You have to be able to shop for them. If if you say to yourself, "I'm going to look for uh for uh, an old Brooklyn Lantern," you'll find it. Go shopping for one, you'll find it. You also find them in flea markets too. You never know. You see, but you have to have. But they take uh, D batteries, and the batteries. If I were you, I store storing batteries. If you buy these uh, these lanterns, store batteries. If I were you. If I were you, or, or, or carry a battery charger to recharge the batteries, D batteries. Okay, this is very important because uh, you don't want you don't want to carry something that's too heavy or too uh, cumbersome, cumbersome or or uh, or anything that's. Uh, imagine you have a lantern with oil or kerosene and you drop it, or you you, you want to touch it and you miscalculate when you reach and you burn your hands. Or your fingers real bad, or uh, or you run out of fuel, or you run out of kerosene or oil, or uh, anything can happen. Also, if you're going to deal with uh, kerosene and oil lamps or lantern, it's good to have a first aid kit available in case you get burned, or maybe you get some um, a kerosene or oil in your eyes. Maybe you have some kerosene in your finger while you're while, while you're putting kerosene in a lantern and you, and you rub your eyes by accident. It's good to have an eye wash or something. These lanterns, this, these Brooklyn lanterns, on the other hand, the old Brooklyn lanterns, doesn't require uh, um, um, uh, oil or land or, or kerosene. They run on, uh, on batteries, and it's very safe, very safe. You can hook them anywhere too, and carry them anywhere you want to, anywhere, any way you like to. 
this is why you do, this room is very uh, dark now, because I, I want to show the, the, the brightness of the lamp, or the la a lantern. I sometimes I, I use the word lantern for lamp, because uh, but either way, that's how it is. Okay, and uh, if you can see back here, I don't know if I can show it to you now. It has the word Brooklyn written right in the back. Let me see. See, I can touch the lamp and not get burned because it's battery operated. Let me see if I can put this over here so you can see it in the back. See? It says Brooklyn. See? Brooklyn in the back. Right here. And very heavy, they very easy to carry and it takes. 2D batteries, like I said, and, and cheap. You find them in stores, in hardware stores. Some, some, some of them, if you're lucky, you'll find them from $8. But usually they go from $8 to $12.99 or something like that. Depends where you go, of course. You may find them in the flea market cheaper. I, I don't know what to tell you. I go to a hardware store, I, I seen them. I went to a hardware store a, a couple of times, different hardware stores, to look for things for the house, and I seen them in the window. So you do see them there. Um, I, got, I got these at... Um, um, at Kmart. So, you can find them anywhere. If you, if you shop, if you go out looking for them, you'll find them. They're not hard to find. They're still there. And lots of people are buying them. Oh, they, they're going off the shelf very easily. You, you find them in different colors. You find them in different colors. But, uh, I stick to the, I stick with whatever, whatever color I can get because during the during an emergency, whatever you can, whatever you have, it doesn't matter the color. Well, well, then again, it doesn't matter if you if you're going to decorate your house, right? You may you may want to put lanterns that go with the uh, decor of your room. So it does matter, I guess, to some people, red or black or silver color. Uh, they come in those, those colors, green. Some of them, some of them. Uh, so I, I I just go for what's available. What I can find for emergency because I, I believe in um, making use of the things I have for emergencies and not so much for decor. But yes, if you go, if you worry about the, about hanging them on a the hook in front of people to see when they come to your house, it's good. You can you can use, you can uh, uh, find them different colors. Yes, and uh, they will look nice if you know how to decorate. Depends how you use them. Okay, there's many things you can get. Um, uh, many colors you can get. So D batteries. If I were you, if not, if I were you, and I'm not you, if you're going to use this kind of lanterns, it's good to have um, a storage of batteries, D batteries. Okay. Um, and but uh, like I say, they're all better, more expensive, brighter le lighting system in case of a power outage. But like I say, they can be dangerous, like oil. Kerosene, um, they may require some, a battery that you cannot uh, get easily. Some, like a, some flashlights require batteries that you cannot find easily in the stores, but some you can. Depends what kind of uh, what kind of a uh, uh, lighting source you, you're using. So, like I say, these are very light. They're not as bright as some, uh, something, but you can use them. You can hang them around. You can walk down steps with them. Uh, you can, you know, and not fall. But you don't have to wait for a power outage. What happens if, uh, if, if, if a few blows out? Uh, just for, you know, it's no, it's, there's no storm. There's no storm outside. It's a beautiful day. And you need a lighting system. It happens. It happens. It can happen. Uh, what if uh, it's nighttime and, uh, and a light bulb, a couple of light bulbs blow out? And, it's, and the room is dark and you can't, and you can't screw, screw in a new light bulb because uh, there's no light. Oh, take a power, take one of these lanterns out while you screw the, the, the light bulb in, and then turn, turn the lanterns off. Now, if you use a, 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 a cheap battery, it will last you four hours unless you turn it off and on at different times. And the more expensive batteries, uh, I guess uh, the the batteries will last longer. But the best, I usually uh, turn mine off and on as I uh, as I as I use it. I don't have to keep it on steadily because of the battery. This way you need a, a, a storage of batteries. But there you go. Um, old Brooklyn, lan Brooklyn lanterns. Look, them at, look for them at your, at your hardware store or any store you go to. Uh, like I say, it takes 2D batteries. You put the batteries right here in the bottom. See? It's a little tab over there. See? Right here at the bottom. It has a knob that turns off and on, as you can see. Right here. 
off and on, and there you go. Okay? This is a wise owl, too. Have a good day, and always be prepared for any emergencies. Any time, any place, it can happen. Okay? And always have a first aid kit and a storage of batteries. Okay? Thank you very much, and have a good day. Goodbye.